Even so, Honda feels it has turned up the looks on the model a bit, adding big car features such as the Honda Sensing suite of safety countermeasures on X and higher trims, some shoulder to the styling, and an altogether more serious and imposing face. It's almost as if Lee Iacocca were calling the shots, the new CRV adds chrome filigrees here and there, including an embrace of the industry's burdening mania for upturned chrome hockey sticks as body sign decoration. Well, what's good enough for BMW and Range Rover should be good enough for Honda. LEDs for the taillights, daytime running lights, and turn signals are another clue that this is a new car, as are the optional full LED headlight clusters. We've come a long way from the spunky original CRV, with its rear mounted spare tire and spindly suspension bits visible underneath. Honda pushed a little harder in the interior. A 7.0-inch touchscreen, now with a radio volume knob, is the centerpiece of a pleasantly upscaled dashboard with an unusual three-zone instrument cluster. Honda, perhaps significantly also a motorcycle maker, has been one of the braver companies when it comes to moving past the well-worn, two-dial convention of talk and speedo. In the CRV with its all-digital TFT cluster, the tachometer. Not much needed in a vehicle that no longer offers a manual transmission, becomes a band at the top, and the speedometer is a digital readout, both executions of which seem appropriate for this car. Honda knows it spires well, as evidenced by some of the small changes, such as twin 2.5 amp USB ports in back, the reconfigured center storage bin designed for what real people stash and reshaped door pockets with drink holders that will accommodate bottles as large as 1 liter in size. Passengers get a little more space, thanks to a 1.6-inch wheelbase. <laughs>